So ask the question to yourself. Is free enterprise just good for rich people? Or does it help poor people too? And I'm going to ask you to consider one big fact. You, I want you to consider the difference between 1970 and today in the percentage of the world's population that's living in the worst poverty. Now, the worst poverty is traditionally defined by development economists as living on a dollar a day or less. What has happened to the percentage of the world's population living on a dollar a day or less from 1970 until today? The answer is that percentage has fallen by 80%. I bet you didn't know that. 80%! Unbelievable! This is the literally the most impressive anti-poverty achievement in the history of humanity. Nothing like it has ever happened before, and it never shows up in the paper. So, okay, that's a problem in and of itself, but, but ask yourself this. What, what you got to have an explanation. An 80% drop in the world's worst poverty? What a miracle! What's the explanation? Is it the incredible success of the United Nations? That's a joke. <laughs> Is it U.S. foreign aid? Is it the International Monetary Fund or the World Bank or central planning or global socialism or something like that? Of course not. You know the answer. It's globalization. It's trade. It's cross-border entrepreneurship. It's property rights. It's rule of law. It's you and your American free enterprise system that has spread around the world, that has pulled billions of people out of poverty. You did that. Thank you for doing that. The truth of the matter is that if it weren't for the stuff that you buy and the business that you do in the interconnected flat world that we live on, if it weren't for that, somebody who is not would be burying her child tonight in Sub-Saharan Africa. Somebody would not be sending his daughter to school in China. What's going on around the world today where we've lifted literally billions of people out of poverty without even trying, without even knowing it, is free enterprise. It's the system for good Samaritans. Consider one little fact. One little fact. You know, I, I spend a good deal of time in China. China is a really interesting place. Today is really dynamic. It's really screwed up in terms of governance. It's a totalitarian regime that has a horrible human rights record with respect to politics, with respect to religion, and there's a lot to regret. But there's one thing to celebrate, which is they opened up their economy to trade with the United States starting in about 1980. Go back to 1980 and look at it compared to today. Trade between China and the United States has increased by a thousand percent. And the result of that, 400 million Chinese have been lifted out of poverty. Thanks to you and the things that you buy. Congratulations. It's the greatest moral achievement ever of any economic system. Truly the only system for Good Samaritans. And the cost of moving back on the free enterprise system, of erecting barriers to trade, of lowering free enterprise in this country, of making it harder to be an entrepreneur in China or the United States or anybody else, the cost is death for people we will never meet and we will never see. That has strong moral implications, and I leave them to you for your consideration.